Welcome to Packed Publishing Screencast Series on Mastering Prime Faces. My name is Josh Juno, and I'll be your presenter for this course. This series focuses on the Prime Faces Framework, assuming that you have an understanding of what the Prime Faces Framework has to offer. For those of you who have used Prime Faces before, this series will help you extend your knowledge, and I'll be showing you some advanced usage of Prime Faces components, AJAX functionality, client-side validation, and more. Throughout the series, we'll be looking a lot at the Prime Faces website as it plays an important role in the developer's understanding of the components since it contains the Prime Faces showcase, documentation, and much more. We'll be using NetBeans IDE in this video, although you could use any Java IDE that has support for Java Server Faces framework. We'll be developing a Java EE web application throughout this video series, and it will be an application for an auto sales organization named Prime Auto Sales. To get started, let's create a Java EE7 web-based application within NetBeans IDE and name it accordingly. First, open the NetBeans IDE and click on New Project and choose the Maven category. Then, select the Web Application Project. Click Next and name the project accordingly, Prime Auto Sales. Choose a project location, then type a version. I'm assuming you have previously configured your NetBeans IDE with a local GlassFish development server. If not, then please do so before proceeding. This can be easily accomplished by opening the Services tab, right-clicking on Servers node, then choosing Add Server. In this case, we would choose GlassFish and then browse to an installation of GlassFish server on our machine. If we've already gotten GlassFish configured, then it'll be available as a selection in this pick list. Choose the GlassFish 4 server, Choose Java EE7 version, click Finish. Next, we need to add the Java Server Faces configuration and standard library to the application. We can do this in NetBeans by right-clicking on the project and selecting Properties. Once the project properties is open, click on the Frameworks menu option and then select the Add button to add a framework. Choose Java Server Faces from the selection box and click OK. Lastly, Click OK and accept all defaults, which should configure our application for use with JSF 2.2 at this point. Right-click on the project once it is created and choose Open Palm and show the palm. Add the Prime Faces repository as a dependency by right-clicking on the Dependencies section in the project and choosing Add Dependency on OS X. And then type Prime Faces and choose Prime Faces 5 repository. Click Add, and then go back to the POM file and see whether it has been added. Prime Faces can also be added to a project within the Properties dialog. If you right-click on the project and then choose Properties, you can then navigate to the Framework section and add the Prime Faces framework by selecting it within the Components tab of the dialog. Doing so will add the library to your POM XML. That concludes this brief introduction. In the next video, we'll learn how to develop sophisticated layouts using the Prime Faces layout component.